biodiversity is, mm -hmm. and, and which is quite a rare place to, to, to see, in, in, especially in a place like in London. And uh, this is sort of a quite, uh, uh, it's like a sort of a sanctuary almost, um, or oasis, you could, you could call it in any way. Uh, so I wanted, we wanted to keep this quality and enhance this quality by having this uh, proposal uh, that the community center and the housing but that's kind of a go against it because you want to develop more which means occupy more land uh, lose some of the open spaces so how do you reconcile how do you work uh, make it work so the initial idea for us was uh, okay if you spread this uh, program you require in, uh, as a single story we we'll occupy so much space so much land so we wanted to make kind of quite compact quite f uh, uh, efficient plan uh, and stack them on top so that the footprint of the building is quite small uh, but uh, it's it's quite tall so this is the initial move so and also the uh, because it's a sort of a quite um, surrounded by lots of greens we wanted to somehow condense the program into the one tower almost and then sort of radiates out so, so you are surrounded by this sort of greenery and, and rich environment so that was the kind of idea so so this is the, the model so we we made a little one to 250 model uh, this maybe 500 so this is sort of a put right in the middle of this basically the front yard and the other move was uh, yeah we try many uh, iterations and options to, to see whether we could fit the housing in within the space as uh, original competition uh, brief stipulates but we decided actually not to because of that the, the idea that we, we wanted to have a quite quite maintain this ground and maintain the green spaces around us so we looked at putting the housing at the back so this is the, the little housing model which nestled into this corner I know this is uh, controversial it's very nice space you have already which we didn't really want to ruin it but uh, I understand you have a kind of an idea a desire to, to develop this uh, and then uh, increase more density increase more housing which creates revenues uh, and also yeah in general you know more you, London needs more housing so it's, it's so there's a sort of a contradictory but uh, but again, again, you know, our answer to that is make it really compact and really condensed. So, so we we literally sort of made a kind of wedge-shaped housing that, that tuck, tucked into this tight corner, which is kind of a, uh, a good that uh, because this uh, two gable ends that which has no windows, just a blank wall, and we wanted to be away from the tree. Uh, as far as possible so that we can keep this tree uh, trees along that border so really sort of pushed into this corner so so the, that creates kind of interesting sort of a building I think it's a has got very small elevation from the from this uh, access point but open up the facade to the uh, quite green background uh, and, and also sort of a <coughs> northeast facing so you get that lights coming through and pro provide the privacy so that was the sort of overall kind of a uh, uh, strategy and then also we interested in the idea of uh, recycling and reuse and also using the natural material that I'm going to talk about that in the, in the building in more detail but uh, so the for example the uh, these the containers that you have it's uh, it's waste to, to throw it away so we propose to repurpose it so the wood workshop as almost as existing as, as the retained but located to the to the front their mm -hmm. corner mm -hmm. and also because we occupy the corner with new housing so we relocated the bi bicycle repair shed using the one of your container but maybe modify that to, to work together so this is forming the corner of the of the how uh, the community center so you look at the Maybe this is more like that, orientation-wise. <coughs> um, and that creates a sort of a loose, uh, I guess, courtyard-like arrangement, but uh, together with the, the tower, the, the community center. Now, the community center, 
here is the 1250 model. Um, and uh, just gonna swivel it around. So the uh, the idea of a circle is, as a plan is uh, yes coming from this sort of idea of a compactness, and also we were uh, interested in this uh, idea of a community. Um, the circle is a sort of a quite um, you could say primitive or almost uh, archaic kind of a form. Uh, I was imagining something like a Stonehenge, for example. It's a sort of a circular form, and also the Irish, uh, the kind of a more primitive houses, they are all built in circular form. Uh, because it's a sort of a, has got sort of center in, in, in the plan that, uh, that brings this sort of a people in. Uh, so the idea of this uh, community center is, uh, is uh, quite contained, but kind of radiates out. Um, so I'll start from the rooftop. Um, this is another idea that uh, to uh, overlay the ground and the people's accommodation, the people's living, the, the, uh, with the nature, that uh, is the sort of a, the answer to the, this question of the development. How do you overcome that? Um, how can you co-live uh, with, the, with the nature? So that's the idea. So this is the rooftop. Uh, you can get quite a good view. Uh, it's uh, open 360 degrees, so the, the facing is to the south, so it's very sunny. Um, uh, and we propose to uh, grow trees there if we can. But uh, this is all kind of open uh, 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 to, to you, you guys. You know, this is sort of the, the uh, blank canvas in some way that the, the garden design can be developed. Um, uh, and also this uh, greenhouse is uh, could be just an off-the-shelf uh, product or even that the polytunnel you have that uh, can be located because this is uh, elevated ground. This has got, uh, we, we designed a 900 mil, <coughs> nearly a meter uh, deep soil so you can uh, have a, a trees and, and uh, grow vegetables and so on. Uh, you get to that through this uh, tower at the back. Um, and uh, this has got, uh, this uh, uh, is made from the brick um, and also the shape of the roof is uh, echoing the, the housing uh, pitched roof, <coughs> uh, exactly the same angle. That's the, the, the proportion is tower-like. Uh, this contains a staircase and, and lift within it. Um, and just move this person out. <laughs> <laughs> So that goes like that. So, so this is the second floor, uh, which contains all the functions that you require, which is the office, which is facing south, which is very sunny, and, and meeting little meeting room on this corner, which is also facing south. Um, and then that's the toilet. Rock, and this is the quiet reading room, i.e. Uh, library. Um, the natural material I mentioned, uh, we propose to use straw bale as a structure. So this uh, thick cardboard is representing the straw, straw bale construction. Uh, straw bale is really sustainable, <coughs> uh, very cheap, uh, very quick to build because the block size is big, and obviously very, very good insulation property. It's more than the passive house standard and you can carve into it so this is the idea of uh, creating the room within the wall so uh, these windows for example become a little sort of a nook or little room in itself it has got this window seat that you can patch uh, perhaps you can have a uh, cut out for the, the wood burning stove or, or fire place in the in the quiet reading room uh, this is an artist studio which is sort of facing the north side, which get kind of con uh, uh, constant light. Um, and uh, yes, so that's the second floor. And then move on to the ground floor and the mezzanine. Um, <coughs> sorry, it's maybe a bit difficult to see. Um, so the ground floor is a double height space. This is the 1 to 20 model. 
which we represented in a, a photo photograph uh, on our board. Um, it's quite tall space. It's uh, and has this uh, round, uh, the carved wall uh, <coughs> facing due south that way. So this is the idea of a sundial that became somehow a title of a project that uh, registered the movement of sun du the, during the day from morning till uh, evening that uh, moves around. So when you come up to the staircase or lift, you have this uh, internal window that looks over the, the double high space, but also there's a window situated there that you can view uh, through through the window. Uh, up Upstairs here, this room is a uh, uh, music rehearsal room, which has this uh, uh, openable partition that you can open up onto the uh, uh, community space, community hall, so you can make a performance uh, directly from the room to the to the to the space. Uh, this large wall here, which is meant to be a sort of a projection wall uh, for the film events and so on. Uh, so, and what is to mention? The kitchen is down here. This is also illustrating that activity. Um, that uh, also, yeah, we put the, the dining table there. there. We imagine this space would be uh, like kind of a dining hall, uh, uh, and it's all open. Uh, so this is the idea of a 360-degree access. There. So also there is a s designated entrance point for the lock and sort of a more day-to-day -day, uh, uh, use. But when it's the building is occupied, the building can be accessed from any opening. So this is like idea of a uh, opening up the building to the surrounding ground completely. Um, what else to mention? Sorry. I might like just mention that we've got like five more minutes. Uh, ah, thank you. Presentation then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the central column here is uh, structurally necessary in order to transfer transfer all the load, especially this uh, proposing really heavy uh, soil roof that coming down to the ground. So this is literally uh, the the central post that uh, uh, supports the whole structure. So has this sort of a cross like uh, a beam, which is uh, we have a more detailed uh, on on the model. Uh, but also we think this could become a kind of a symbolic column. Uh, so it's off center, so it's not in the way of your uh, activities in the space. Uh, and also we are interested in maybe we could cut the tree with you guys in the forest and then place this as a kind of a, I don't know, this is another, I yeah. guess, level of a, uh, idea that we are interested in uh, incorporating as many activity as possible with the uh, members of the community here that uh, during the construction, not only the uh, uh, design itself, but this is up to kind of a more the discussion. But uh, we suggested potentially about this sort of raising the tree trunk or or even building the straw bale walls or this uh, outside. Uh, this outside is uh, represented rather dark uh, color, which not necessarily has to be that dark, but uh, we thought maybe as an example, we, we show that. I forgot to bring that. Um, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so this is the uh, external is a clad in timber. Uh, we think it's uh, probably large or some sort of a cedar or some kind of a uh, soft wood. But uh, so one example is uh, this kind of a it's, it's called yakisugi, the Japanese char timber, uh, that provides the uh, waterproof, insect-proof, uh, and funny enough, it's also fireproof. Once it's charred, it's quite, quite strong. It doesn't catch fire. It's quite amazing. Uh, which you can do very easily, actually. Uh, we did it so many times with students and other people. Um, so so this, but this will become really black. Really. But this, uh, not only that, uh, potentially it could be 
uh, I brought some example. Uh, this was the practice I used to work before I set my practice, my own practice. Um, the, for example, there's this uh, project called Tree House, which used the reclaimed uh, mm -hmm. wood from the reclamation company. Uh, so this is naturally weathered, so it becomes more silvery, silvery yeah. color. <coughs> <coughs> so that's much more lighter color. Mm -hmm. uh, or this is the Churchill College in Cambridge. Again, use the reclaimed oak uh, uh, from the French carriageway, which has got already uh, uh, textures and colors, but has this sort of warm brown color uh, tone to it. So there's uh, many sort of uh, options or the, the, the iterations that we can uh, explore further. But essentially, it's about the idea of a uh, wrap in the building with uh, natural material, reclaimed material, possibly. Uh, uh, to provide this sort of arty, um, uh, natural uh, feel to it. Uh, yes, maybe I sure. missed quite a few things, but. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. yes. <coughs>